And welcome back. According to the American Heart Association, kids under 18 are on screens for more than seven hours a day. Previous research said too much screen time could be harmful to a child's development. However, as Ursula Perry reports, a new study shows it may actually help your child's IQ. Tablets, phones, computers, TVs. The number of screens in the average American household is growing. And so is the amount of time that kids are spending on them. Probably right now because we're at home a lot, two to four hours a day. And video games. Video games take up a big portion of their time. Xbox, PlayStation 4, 5. But what is all that screen time doing to their brains? Some research suggests that it's negatively impacting their cognitive development. This happens with every kind of new cognitive adjacent technology is that we look at it and say, oh, this is going to somehow disrupt our cognitive abilities, our smarts. But what is all that screen time doing to their brains? Some research suggests that it's negatively impacting their cognitive development. But researchers in Sweden say screens may not be as bad for kids' brains as previously thought. In a study where they followed 5,000 kids for up to two years, they found those who played video games for more than one hour increased their IQ by two and a half points. They also found no major negative or positive effects from watching TV or using social media. That isn't to say that there aren't negative effects at all, but when it comes to people's intelligence... The arguments that they are making us dumber don't hold up. The researchers only studied screens and their effect on children's intelligence. They did not study other things that are important, things like sleep, well-being, physical activity, and school performance. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.